if fluoroscopy wouldn't be available to us, it, you know, this would cause a significant negative impact on patient care uh, and our patient's journey in the department. For example, the very important lumbar puncture that I performed today could not have been performed. Lumbar punctures can, of course, be performed at the bedside, but often if clinicians can't do this, then they would defer this imaging to us. So for those patients who can't have lumbar punctures performed at the bedside, this would be a significant issue. Perhaps having the clinician to go to a different hospital with all the you know, difficulties with transport, nursing staff, costs, and above all inconvenience to the patient that could entail. The surgeons would not be able to perform ERCPs. The gastroenterologists would not be able to perform ERCPs. You know, there are so many other uh, radiological scenarios for which we use fluoroscopy. We do barium and water-soluble swallows, so for example, we have patients who have esophagectomies. The surgeon would want us to do a water-soluble swallow to make sure there is no leak. And if we didn't have fluoroscopy, we couldn't do that. And if the surgeon can't assess that, the patient basically can't go back to drinking fluids and, and, and eating. So that would be you know, very difficult for our patients.